Up. We just had a bit of a collapse, which I was hoping wouldn't happen, but it not completely unexpected. We're gonna do something new, something different. It's gonna be pretty exciting. And all these steps right here, all these are coming out. I mean, look at how badly some of these steps got uh, messed up. But I'm eager to get started. Let's get to it. Let's start hacking away at some of these earth bag walls so we can start to rebuild again. Good day, y'all. How is it going? We hope you are having an excellent day. Welcome to the channel. Now, if you're new here, my wife and I were building our own home off grid here in the Arizona desert, made out of earth bags. Now, if you caught our last video, you know that we've been working well on our geodome over there. Just got a bunch of plastic around the base, but also I've been working on our root cellar. Long time viewers will know that it collapsed almost a year ago, but just recently we started the process of digging it out and trying to rebuild it. So we're still on the digging process and <laughs> it's a lot, definitely a lot to dig out. But I'm gonna start hacking away at some of these walls and hopefully I can get this ready to go sooner rather than later, but we'll see. We'll see how difficult it is to hack through some of these. Uh, but I'm eager to get started. Let's get to it. Let's start hacking away at some of these earth bag walls so we can start to rebuild again. Already getting hot, aren't you? Yep. Dang, you're making a lot of progress. Not too much more on this to go. Uh oh, taking advantage of the cob bench. How is it cobbing up here? Like around the arch? It's a little more difficult, especially when it starts curving in more. So I'm taking this area a little more slowly. I just do a little at a time, let it dry a little bit, and then work up. All right, I'm going to start tearing apart more of these walls, starting with this bag right over here. Just gonna see how this goes. <laughs> you know, when this thing collapsed about just about a year ago now, it was just heartbreaking. Really put a damper on our mood for the longest time. But I feel like this is an appropriate time to get back in here, get things cleaned up, get things rebuilt, and really motivate us to move on to that next step of rebuilding the second half of this house. You know, bad things happen in life. Bad things happen to everyone. But we can choose how we react to that. You know, we can either dwell on the negative and let it destroy us, or we can learn from it and turn it into something positive. And I really feel like this is an opportunity to move forward. We've learned, and we're going to build this even better than it was before. So does the cabin here still take quite a while to dry? Or how is it now that it's the summertime and it's like hot and dry? It's probably drying faster. And I like to make my cob mixes a little wetter and that way I can spread it on thinner. It's a little easier to work with, um, but She's getting comfortable. Uh, but it still probably takes about a day to get it to where it's like stiff enough that I can build up on it. Yeah. 
You know, I can't stress how important it is to have a good selection of knives around the homestead in order to use, like utility knives. I got a multi-tool over here. It's got a little knife in there. Always carry something on you because I find that there's surprisingly always a need for a knife. I don't know, it just happens. I guess especially when you're tearing apart earth bag walls. So I have been tearing apart layers of earth bags going in here, but seeing where this tarp ends, I now know I've hit the outside layer of this wall. This, this right here is the last layer of bags. So I definitely need to get out some of these bags right here. And then I think I might be done with this side of the wall. Then I gotta go to the other side. It's pretty exciting. Not only is it a pretty warm day today, but it is windy out there. It is. Of course, yeah. the uh, the wind and the sun doesn't bother you in here, does it? No, me and UVR are hiding away from the sun and the wind. <laughs> See, the girls are smart. The girls are smart. Oh, pretty baby. And uh, just about almost done with the arch. Man, it's getting so close. You know, bad things happen in life. It happens to everyone. It even happens to YouTubers. I think it's how you choose to meet that bad event to let it define you. You can either like kind of wallow in it and just kind of let it make you miserable or you can choose to learn from it and, and meet that challenge. I don't know, what are your thoughts? This was something I think I kind of touched on in a previous video when I was talking about the pain that I was going through. You know, you can focus on this situation or this person is making me angry or sad or upset. Or you can focus on how you react to the situation and claim the responsibility for yourself, even if it wasn't your in, within your control that that happened to you. And once you claim ownership of that, that gives you more power to do something positive if you choose. But I think it's about becoming more aware of that. She's coming back. If you start blaming other things, events or people, you give those situations that power over you. If you can take ownership of it, you claim that power, you can make that change how you want it to. You can't stop bad things from happening to you, but how you deal with that can have the ability to make you a better person. Everybody wants to have some measure of control over their life, and it can be frustrating when things happen that's beyond your control, but you always have control over your choices and what you choose to do in reaction to these things. <laughs> you know, you look at those walls, it looks nasty. But, you look at these walls, and it looks beautiful. Of course, UV is still taking it easy. It's too hot out. This is probably what you want to be doing, right? Is that, is she representing your inner animal? <laughs> yeah. UV <laughs> is my... Spirit animal. She's your spirit animal. Good morning, y'all. Ooh, I love being out here in the early morning. So nice and cool. Perfect time to be working. Let me show you what's going on down at the bottom of the root cellar. <laughs> I used to call it the pit, but uh, I think I gotta get used to uh, going back to root cellar because uh, it's gonna be that again very shortly. Okay, so 
I've stripped these bags down along here along the bottom. I still got some more layers to go, maybe a couple rows back. I'm not sure if I'm going to go this deep. I'm not 100% sure if I'm ripping all of the bags out. But definitely a couple more rows over here. But I've started moving up along this side, which is exciting. So it might be just a matter of now kind of like taking some of this off. And then I don't know, I might be, uh, I might be close to finishing tearing down, tearing this down, which is exciting. Cause as soon as I get all this torn down, I can start the rebuild process. But, uh, you know, it's just a matter of taking these bags out one bag at a time. <laughs> How come you stopped uh, going up along the arch and you're going up along the wall? Well, I can't go too high, too fast, so. I'm still gonna be working on the arch, but I'm also working. Spreading out. It's all gotta get done, huh? Yuvia really, uh, she made her own little uh, bed area sort of here, didn't she? Yes. It's kind of like, she made like a dent in the floor down here. Did she clear all this up or did you do that? She must have done that. So like all the gravel and stuff like that's pushed away. Yeah. <laughs> Jess, can I say what an amazing job you're doing? <laughs> you want to be opposed to that? It's always nice seeing a master at work. I'm trying to get as many brownie points as I can here. Oh, look at her. So chill. It's nice when she's chill like that. All right, so I'm going to peel this back a little bit, not too much. Because I don't want uh, light exposed to too many of these bags. But I want to start tearing this wall from the top down. So a lot of people express concern about the bags inside the dome thinking that uh, if they're deteriorating, if that's gonna compromise the stability of the dome. But the dome is built, so that's not a huge concern. On the root cellar, however, you do want those bags intact because I gotta build onto it. So it's good to have that mechanical hold on it yet still. So trying to tear these apart without doing too much damage is gonna be better. <laughs> Less damage, the better. So it's going to be another hot, windy day, and I think it's going to probably be like that until the monsoons come. So whatever I can get done in the morning is a real big bonus. I'll still be working throughout the day, but it just goes a little slower. Oh, almost got this completely covered. You excited? You jazzed? I don't think you've explained to the people exactly your methodology for working on the top here. How does this work? Uh, around the arch here, we put some chicken wire to help the plaster stick to the bags because it's a little tricky getting it to stick when it gets- When you're working upside down. Upside down, yeah. Cause gravity just wants to pull it all down. So we got the chicken wire there, but the problem is using the cob with the long straw in there, that long straw doesn't want to go into the chicken wire. So I have to use just like finer straw and, or just mud. And what I've been doing is I'm applying the cob to other parts of the wall and then the residue that's left on my gloves I kind of scrape it off and put it around the arch and then it, it sticks a lot better. <laughs> well, you can't argue with those results. They look amazing. I'm actually doing real well out here. I got a number of bags torn down on this wall and now I'm gonna go back over to this area and start ripping those bags out. 
once I get those out, then I can just start hacking away at this wall and all these steps right here, all these are coming out. I mean, look at how badly some of these steps got uh, messed up. I mean, they could possibly be fixed, but we're just gonna tear them out. We're gonna do something new. We're gonna do something new, something different. It's gonna be pretty exciting. The flies out here are just ridiculous. I don't know how the flies are by you. <laughs> doing another one right away. A little bit of a collapse, not unexpected. Do you think we'll be able to get out of here? Hope so. <laughs> I'll boost you up. <laughs> See, the stairs are still helpful for right now. Oh, can you get out? Yay! You did it. Getting real close. Now, how are you going to deal with the uh, right in the middle? You're gonna shove a bunch of, uh, trying to like stuff that in? Yeah, there's like a bigger gap right there, so I might need stuff some stuff in there. Stuff some stuffing stuff in there? Stuff. Oh, we just had a bit of a collapse on the dirt over here, which I was hoping wouldn't happen, but it not completely unexpected. Uh, this is <laughs> this is just about to come off. <laughs> but uh, that's okay. I don't think it'll hurt our future plans too much.
Well, as you can see, the stairs are still strong and usable, but uh, they probably won't be up there for long. What's the matter? Come on down. Come on. Maybe she doesn't want to come down. So I'm done with doing the digging and tearing up the bags, for now at least. I think it's time to maybe start building. But before I do that, I need to get another Sawzall. I need to take care of these stairs. I have one coming. It's on order. Should be delivered soon. But in the meantime, I got this tarp pulled back and I'm going to be cleaning things up down here. Just moving all this dirt away from the rebuild area and putting it off to the side over here. I figure why dump it all in buckets, carry everything up, and then have to use it for building. We can just mix and build right from the ground. So I'm really excited. I think we're making really good progress really quickly. We're already ready to rebuild. This is exciting. It might not be much longer before we're putting dirt in bags again. This is crazy. So while the sun's going down, I'm gonna hurry up quick and try and get this area cleaned up as much as possible, get everything covered again, and then we'll be ready to go. So between last night and this morning, everything's pretty much cleaned up down there. Everything, all the dirt's moved around to where I need it. It's going to need some fine tuning when we're ready to build, but it's good for right now. So this is about as far as I can get until I get that Sawzall delivered and I can cut up some stairs. But until then, I'll get the tarp draped back over to protect these bags. And then uh, we're almost ready to start uh, rebuilding this. Very cool. New saws all in action. Let's see how it does. When this thing collapsed, it was absolutely heartbreaking. I think for both of us, it took the wind out of our sails for a little bit. It was a huge setback. I'm really thinking, is this a great opportunity? I mean, would it have been nice if it had everything had just worked out the way we planned? Yeah. But I think. Now that it did happen, it's a great opportunity to redesign, remodel, make it better than we had originally designed. And even the whole house after this, I think might, might be much better for it. Before this happened, we were pretty much set on a plan for the house, what we wanted. And yeah, this shook everything up. Then we started thinking, well, is there other things that we could try? It opened up a lot of possibilities for us, I think. I think sometimes you need those shakeups in life every now and then. Uh, if things go too smoothly, maybe that can have deleterious consequences. Well, at the very least, like you're not gonna learn, have the opportunity to learn and grow. I definitely think it's an opportunity that we're gonna take to do things better, build things better, and we've learned a lot going forward. So I'm pretty excited about this. Those inside walls are looking fantastic. Uh, that's got to be a challenge, sort of working on those bags, especially the ones where the, the bags have sort of deteriorated a little bit. Seems like you got a really nice technique going for that. And I know a lot of people have been concerned about the deteriorating bags, um, and you could see just how much better it looks uh, with that covering over it. It makes, makes me feel uncomfortable seeing those bags like that, but I guarantee you it's not going to affect the integrity of the dome. And in fact, once that cob is in place, it's probably even going to be much stronger than just the dirt in the bags alone. <laughs> UV is a little scared whenever the, uh, some of the material drops. He's scared. He's scared. <laughs> We probably touched on this in previous videos as well, but you got to think of those bags as kind of a form. Like if you're working with concrete, you create a form and you pour the concrete in and then it hardens and then you don't need the form anymore. That's kind of what the, the bags are like. And that earth, if you do it right, it should be really solid within those bags, which we're finding is the case is just it does tend to crumble and the very outer Toward layers outer so it is very solid still 
and the cob makes it even more solid on the outside layer. The looseness on those edges could just be because the mix could be a little bit wetter. When we we're building it, it could have been during a very dry time, so those edges might have dried out a little too quickly. But those center mass pieces, where the actual weight is, very solid. I think you were finding that as you were tearing apart the root cellar walls. Yes. <laughs> those bags very much are so. solid. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. So with the temperatures kind of being in the 90s during the day, the dome temperature has been a little above 70 degrees. So I've been keeping this window open. During the evening, I kind of prop open this window, open right now, just kind of let that cool air in. And when I let UV out in the morning, I also just kind of keep the dome door open, just let some of that cool air in. So right now the temperature inside there is 71. It'll probably get down to, uh, could probably drop the temperature in the dome down to 67, 66 before it starts warming up. And, uh, you know, keep it a little cooler during the day. But uh, those stairs are finally gone in the root cellar. Just one more step in the revitalization of the new root cellar. Very exciting. So now that I've gotten all those bags up, a lot of that dirt removed, we are ready to start rebuilding again. So I'm very excited. Time to start rebuilding this root cellar. It's gonna be much better than before. I'm very excited to get this rebuild going. And you know, rain could be happening at any time. So the quicker I can get this done, the much better it'll be. All right, y'all, we'll catch you in the next video. Bye.